Loose Loss Tube, what's up? It's Lori again. I'm just doing a quick video. This probably won't take as long as like my last videos um, did. I just got a few things I wanted to go over with you. So today is 4th of July, so happy 4th of July. My plumerias are blooming, so I'm making use of the blooms just because I, I always, you know, it's Ohio and there's not a lot of plumeria trees around here. Um, any, actually, the only reason I have them is because I bring them in in the winter time, and then they kind of die off and go into like a dormant state. Interesting plants, but anyways, they drop lots of flowers, and I always feel bad, so I'm like, I'm gonna at least decorate myself with them. That and this particular one, they smell like peaches. Oh, so good. So, um, yeah, I just thought I'd decorate myself a little bit. So, there's that. Um, the last thing I was talking about was a uh, very highly awaited Bella Filipina design, which is Queen Amphitrite, I believe it's pronounced. Queen Goddess of the Sea. Isn't she so cool? Like, one thing I really love, um, where are they? These little clown fishies in there, they're so cute! And there's a dolphin and an octopus, and then there's a sea turtle, and there's fish, and lionfish, and corals, and oh, I'm all about it. Um, the fabric. <laughs> I had ordered a buttload of fabric, and some of it arrived, and as I predicted, it just wasn't, wasn't what I thought it was going to be. Like, um, it, w it was supposed to be this very blue-green, but then it had, like, bits of, like, red, like, other colors in it. But when I got it, that, it was just kind of like a denim blue, and the red was brown. So it was like, ugh. you know, so, and I kind of want to do her on something cool. Look how many colors she has. Like, when I first started thinking, I thought about maybe doing like, you know, just kind of a dark teal color because um, the dolphin's tail, like, has this spray of beads off of it. And when I was using the viewer, whenever you looked at like a lighter fabric, though, that kind of faded into the background. So I didn't want that. Um, I did find another fabric that I'm considering for her. Um... And the thing that I hate about fabrics, let's talk fabrics for a second. <laughs> I'm sure I'm not the only person that feels like this. A lot of times, you know, you look at a picture of this is this fabric and it, it's an over dyed thing. You know, it's like, oh, it shows you this color and it's got like, let's say greens and yellows or something. And you're like, ooh, that looks really cool. And then you get it and either it's way more green or it's way more yellow or it's just barely a mix of the two like you can kind of see how they got that color but it wasn't what you expected and I'm so like like ooh, I see that and that's what I want but I know it's hard for them you know because it's a hand dyeing process every piece is different you know I understand the struggle but this is one reason why I am not big at hoarding fabric because so many times I order fabric and it's just not what I wanted you know uh, especially with me liking over dyes. I feel like, you know, if it's like just one color and it's modeled, you're, you know, you're going to get that color. But when it's a couple different colors, like maybe when you looked it up in the viewer, there was this little splash of orange in this one spot and it looked really cool. But then when you get it, yours doesn't have that splash of orange in that spot. Maybe it's somewhere else or it's going to be covered by stitching, you know. So that's, that's my OCD rant about fabric. You know, like it, it's not the dyer's fault. I understand what they have to go through, you know, to dye our fabrics for us. But for me, it's just more of a like, oh, I just wish I could, you know, it it looked the way I wanted it to look. So this is why I don't hoard fabric. That and fabric hoarding is expensive, you know. Um, and I don't like having a lot of fabric that I'm not going to use. Like, usually when I buy fabric, it's I have a purpose intended for it. Except for, I will make an exception for, like, purples, because just purple is my favorite color. So... I, and I, but I tend to use purple fabric a lot, you know, so I know if I buy purple fabric, I'm probably going to use it, though I do have a little bit of a problem. Sometimes I'll get a piece of fabric, and I'm like, oh my god, that's so gorgeous, and I want to hold on to it, because I love it, and I, I don't want to stitch something on it, and then now I don't have it anymore. I know that's stupid, it really is. I'm the same way with tattoos, like, um, I'll want to get a tattoo, but then I'll have, like, this grieving period where it's like, I love the tattoo that I got there, but I have to, like, grieve that that spot now can't have anything else. It's, it's weird. So, anyways, that's my little fabric rant. I ordered the fabric for her, I got it, and it, it wasn't what I wanted. So, I'm still shopping for fabric for her, and it's, 
I'd love to just start her right away, but maybe it's for the best, you know, because I'd really like to get some more work done on um, Heiress of Atlantis or even um, over here Renaissance Mermaid, which I'll show, show you guys her in a minute. But um, I did get some of the um, supplies for her. Like there's a, what is it, the Peacock Boutique, I think it's called, I believe. Peacock, the Peacock Feather. It's, it's the shop on Etsy. I got the chart from her. And then she put up like a little supply kit, like silks, uh, metallics, treasures, and beads. No floss or anything like that, which I had already bought the floss, so that's fine. Um, I've got that to show you. So here's all the floss. And then, <laughs> I, this, you did when you hoard something, like for me, it's beads and sparkle, I tend to buy it in my favorite colors. So I don't know why it is that I had never had this color before. I need this color in my life. This is like this gorgeous like sea foam green color. It looks fairly fairly accurate on screen there. But yeah, it's this gorgeous sea foam green metallic. Like, why did I not have this before? And I'm really happy because it came with two spools. So that means there's a lot of it in that one. And I like that. And then there's this color, which I believe is one of the same colors that was used in Mermaid of the Pearls. It's kind of a white with darker blue and lighter blue metallic, but it was a number eight braid and this is a number four, which I like number four better. Number eight, that's like stitching with barbed wire. Okay, and then there's a few beads, like these beads, you know I'm a delicate girl, <laughs> but these beads, they're freaking huge. Like, they're, they're almost like, what is it, those Rocal beads? I can't remember what they're called, but they're gigantic, but I do love the color. They're like this peacock kind of, or oil slick color. And I'm not sure where they go in the design either, so I might use them. I might not. There are these one Delica beads. Um, I don't know if they'll show up well on camera. But they're triangular. And they're kind of cool, so if I can find these in those colors, these might be fun to use because... They just got a cool shape to them. And I don't like these big, fat, like, chunky beads because they never lay on the fabric well, and you can almost guarantee to see the um, thread that you use to stitch them down sticking out because the hole is so huge. Okay, um, let's see here. Silks. Here's the silks that came with it. Um, I know they're not going to show up too well. Let's try this. Try, try backing them up on this. So there's the silks. There's, um three colors I think and there's like two actually four colors and there's two of most of them so there's a lot of silk in this design which I'm cool with I love stitching with silk and I, I really like uh, water lily Karen water lilies because they're so soft it's a really nice silk so yeah I like it it's expensive but I like it <laughs> and then the beads so <laughs> I've got a little Zelica pile <laughs> going on right now and I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to show you guys this on camera accurately so let me just first show you guys the um, beads that I received so these are the ones that came in the kit so yeah um, I'll probably keep the pearl because I'm assuming that's like four pearls maybe not um, most of the rest of these are getting converted though. Like this one right here, super convenient. It's the same bead that's in Renaissance Mermaid. So I just converted that one. So um, this color right here, already got it. Good to go. Happy about that. This bead is fun, I think. I don't know if that shows up. Uh, you can kind of see it a little bit. It's just, it's just a pretty color. I like it. So I might use that one actually. But then I've got... Um, Oh, just a bunch of other delicas. I'm not going to show you guys all of them because I'm still picking through all of them. But I do need to go shopping for like this root beer color with an iris on the top. And I have a matte green like this one here, but it's darker. So I might look for like a lighter colored one. I hope that showed up for you guys. And then I've got this bead here that kind of goes with these sand colored ones. And again, I'm not sure where they go in the design, so I'm not sure if I like this color or if I like that color better. I'm, you know, and I'm okay with mixing mill hills with delicas. I'm, the most important thing to me is I like the color and I like the 
light effect that the bead gives. So that's the main thing for me. So yeah, I'm kind of doing that while waiting on the fabric, you know, and I got plenty of designs to work on before then. That and I haven't gotten the scroll frame yet for it because I have to get um, a wider scroll bar. Oh, also, in my last video, I think I said I needed a fat quarter. I meant to say a fat half <laughs> because I think she's like 26 inches wide or 24, something like that. But basically, I need to get a fat half size of fabric for her and put it on scroll bars. So I need scroll bars that are wide enough to accommodate that. And I haven't gotten those yet. So even if I had the fabric right now, I'd have to get the scroll frame. So it's like, let's not get upset about the fabric not being perfect. You know, I was just having my little mild fabric rant just because that's the way it goes when you buy fabric. Okay, so um, this other design I was going to show you, <laughs> it's an old design. Like, it's kind of like how Mermaid of the Pearls was. Like, I was stitching it forever ago, and then it got put away. So let me show it to you really quick. And what's funny about this design is I don't know what happened to the chart. So I had to rebuy it, and luckily I found it. But And this is um, another piece of kelp. This is what Mermaid of the Pearls was stitched on. And it's this little clownfishy design. Now, the um, I had this white part done, but it was discolored. Like, from being locked away for all. For some reason, this part looked looked okay but this part here was discolored I don't know if maybe I had something on my fingers that day I was kind of bad before like I'd eat Cheez-Its while I was you know stitching I mean they're not as bad as Cheetos you know but they still have an oil to them so that could have gotten on there so I ended up picking out all that white just because it looked tarnished to me but um here's what the finished design looks like that clownfish right there so that's where I am on that um and this is one of my, I think I have one more piece of this, but this is, um, is a discontinued silk weaver uh, called Kelp. And I did Mermaid of the Pearls on it, and I really love it. And then I've got one other real small piece put away somewhere, and I was thinking of maybe um, doing a uh, Victoria sampler with it. So I just thought I'd show you that. This is a design I'll be working on in a bit. I love clownfish. So, um, I probably will stitch this with a hoop, maybe. I don't think I'll put it on a scroll frame, even though I really hate hoops. But maybe I'll get some cue snaps. I do like them a little bit better. So, but I just thought I'd show you guys that. This is kind of an old design that, you know, it's been kicking around. And I actually, I couldn't find the floss. Well, actually, yeah, I couldn't find the floss. So, I had these pieces that I picked out, and then I had to go and buy the rest of it. And hopefully, dye lots match up and everything, which, as you see, you know, the only thing I'm worried about really is like this anemone stuff here, which that's so many different colors that I think even if they don't match, it'll still be okay because it's not like I have a ton done there. It's, I don't, so I think it'll still be okay. But I'd like to get that piece done just because it's been a work in progress forever. I do think it was funny that I had to rebuy this chart though. There are a few other designs I really like in this. Like I really like um, that flame angel, um, which is this little fish right here. So I might stitch him by himself. I also really like this um, this shell. I've always loved the colors in this, so I don't know why I got rid of this design. Or even if I did, maybe I just lost it and I'll find it somewhere. But I had to go on eBay and get this again so I could finish that design. This used to be my favorite um, company, this Cross My Heart. Um, that um, rainforest design was by that company. and. I I just was really big into stitching animals and stuff, so that was like my thing. So there's that. Got this mermaid out of the way. Okay, I will show you guys Renaissance Mermaid now. I started the over one. Yay! So let me get her off here so I can give you guys a look at her. And I was in a big hustle to get her face done just because I think it's so pretty. So there she is. And I always, I struggle a little bit when it comes to um, backstitching over one, especially when it's not charted over one. It's just I'm converting it. So, try and give you guys a good look at her. I was second guessing, like, placement of it, but I do think, I do think that's where I want all the stitches to go. I'm happy with how her face looks. The only thing I'm not happy about is kind of right in her jawline, there's a couple of um, lighter colors, um, which I was kind of guesstimating where colors were falling in her chin, and I think some of them went under the line a little bit too much, so I'm probably going to darken those up a little bit just to make that her jaw look nice and clean. 
And then, yeah, once I fill in this color that I'm working on now in these spots, it's done, except for there's a few spots in her hand that I missed. I'm going to try and finish all the over one because I'm in the over one groove right now. <laughs> so I have to ride that pony because I have relearned or re-reminded myself that I don't necessarily love doing over one. I like the effect that it gives because I think it makes her skin look more like skin and I like that it's a different, you know, a texture change from her hair and her, the scales of her tail. But I don't necessarily love doing over one just because, especially when it's right next to over two, my eyes get kind of crossed when I start counting things a little bit and I can lose track of my place a lot easier doing over one. So I'm trying to finish that bit. And then I think I might rotate off of her for a little bit, just because I feel like I've gotten a decent chunk done. You know, once I finish her hair up there, um, her top half's basically done. So um, I haven't decided if I'm doing the beading as I go. I'm very tempted to. <laughs> but again, I don't know that I'm going to put her away, and she's going to be put away for a while, and I don't like the idea of beads being rolled up you know, and that pressure being put on them, like in my brain it says that, you know, it's going to make the beads loosen up, you know, so you don't want to do the beads and have them all screwy because they've been rolled up in the scroll frame forever. So I'm not sure what I'm doing there yet. Um, but yeah, so that's basically it for today. Um, oh, one other thing. Uh, Bella Filipina. They've been knocking it out of the park for me lately. I mean, I just showed you, you know, Queen Amphitrite, you know, which is the one that I was like, oh my god, as soon as they posted it, I was like, let me start that right now. She's so gorgeous. I love her, you know, and she's going to be gigantic, which is awesome. But another one, this one just arrived the other day. This is Gaia, which is the Earth Mother Goddess in Greek culture. I really love um, the birds in this one. I like her dress, too. Her dress is pretty cool. I'm usually not a pretty lady in a dress type person. But because it's Gaia, it's like a nature goddess, I'm totally into it. Um, and I love the birds. Speaking of which, that's another reason I haven't gotten too much stitching done. I'm getting a new pet. It's a baby bird. <laughs> She's a turquoise green cheek conure. And she'll be coming home in a couple weeks. So that's exciting. So maybe she'll be able to join me in a few videos. Um, but yeah, I'm excited about that. I've always loved birds. Like... Not as much as like snakes and fish and stuff like that, but I've always really loved having birds as a pet. I had a cockatiel um, and a love bird and I had parakeets, but the cockatiel was, was my bud. Like I got my senior pictures made with this cockatiel. Maybe I'll show you the picture sometime. But So I really like the, the birds that are on this and I've even thought about adding maybe some more. Like she's got a butterfly on her hand and I thought of maybe switching it to another bird. I'm not sure yet, but I'm definitely, there's another butterfly down here and I'd like to put it kind of up here. Just because I want to increase the, you know, nature goddess factor of it. So, but, um, the fabric that I ordered for Queen Amphitrite, I also kind of like for her. So, I'm kind of hoping if that fabric comes and I don't like it for one, maybe I at least like it for the other. So, that's kind of my fail safe for that one. And if I don't like it for either, I'll cross that bridge when it comes to it. Oh, by the way, when you order... Bella Filipina design. I highly recommend that when you open this part that you fold it over and seal it because otherwise, <coughs> excuse me, let me show you what happens. That stuff sticks to the picture on the front and then it tears off bits. So seal it on itself before you pull it out. That way it doesn't stick to it because for some reason it just like suction cups to this picture on the front here. I've done that to two of mine. <coughs> so don't do it to yours. Fold this bit over. And then she released another one yesterday, day before yesterday. It's a fairy. I like fairies. She's like an autumn equinox fairy. <coughs> She's brand new. Hasn't been released yet so I can't show her to you. You just have to go to like the Bella Filipina Facebook page and look at her. She's super cool though. I got some of the floss for her because I was at Joann's picking up some stuff. I noticed floss was on sale for 40 cents a skein. So I was like, well, crap. What design list do I have? So, and they had just posted the floss supply list for this new fairy on Bella Filipina. So I got as much of it as I could. 
So she's lots of like rich autumn colors. She's purples and pinks and uh, rusty oranges and teals and I really like her. And I was kind of I was kind of put upon because she's a fairy. And it's funny because I like fairies, but for some reason people that know me in my personal life like they're always like, "Oh yeah, you're a fairy nut." And it's like I'm not actually a fairy nut. I'm more of a mermaid nut, you know, but for some reason everybody forgets that. So sometimes I'm kind of like, I don't want to stitch another fairy because then people are going to be all, you're a fairy nut. <laughs> I don't know. It's a funny thing. But I was like, I like her too much. I'll be ordering her. I don't think I'll be starting her quite as soon because I'm not sure what fabric I want to do her on. She's pictured on like this very warm, rusty pink kind of color, which looks okay, but it's not really what direction I want to go in. So I'm probably going to be experimenting on fabric on that one, but I'm starting to kit up the floss just because it was on sale, you know. I really should have started um, kitting this one up because I think I want to start her first, but we'll see. I've seen people's widths of this on the Bella Filipina page, and it just looks really gorgeous, too. So, yeah, there's probably some silks in this one, too, so that's going to be a pricey one. But after kitting this one up, she's so big. How big is she? She is... 285 stitches wide by 362 tall um, on 14 count Ada it is 20.36 inches by 25.86 inches so she be big she a thick girl so yeah I'm just I'm just so excited at the thought of her being like this huge piece on my wall so <laughs> but yeah I'm excited to start her I'm waiting for the fabric though like I don't want to just do her on a whatever fabric I want to be like yeah this is a cool fabric so I've ordered some I'm not gonna say where um, it's not a fabric company that I order from a lot um, I will say right now my favorite fabric company is ships manor because their stuff is gorgeous it comes quickly uh, you contact them they're right back I am still waiting on my picture this plus order that I put in April 15th tax day and it is now July 4th and I did send them a message asking hey you know any idea on when this package is shipping and they kind of sent me kind of a snippy email back like we're backlogged because of the pandemic blah 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 and it's like okay understood just kind of asking when it's going to come which sucks because I really like picture this plus um, fabrics you know but when it takes like three months for it to get here it's kind of annoying <laughs> You know, so right now Ships Manor um, is kind of my favorite. I wish they had a wider selection though because, you know, they don't have as much as some of the other companies do. But, you know, I'm really happy with what I have gotten from them so far. So, yeah. So, I, I'm really kind of hoping I find, you know, some more fabrics that I want to stitch designs on there just because they're so quick to get them here and I love that. Anyway. My dog wants out. She's staring at the door there. <laughs> it is getting kind of hot in here because um, I have I don't have central air and I've got this door shut and the AC is going, but it's getting kind of hot in here. You know, it's 4th of July. It's like 90 degrees outside. So I'm going to let the puppy dog out. You guys want to say hi to her first? Come here, baby girl. Oh, here's the baby girl. Hi, hun. Say hi. She can't see you guys, but anyways, she wants to go somewhere. Don't you, baby? She's not excited about getting a bird, I don't think. She'll be okay, though. But anyways, thanks so much, you guys, for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.